All right, this is a continuation on the video I made called Wisdom, the Holy Spirit. And in this video, I'm going to take a look at the Apocrypha, which was originally in the 1611 King James Bible. Nowadays, it's mostly considered and deemed uninspired by Protestants and other apostate denominations, which are nothing more than divisions. So, with that being said, I'm going to take a look at the book of Ecclesiasticus, also known as the Sirach, and the Wisdom of Solomon. The Apocrypha is a collection of books, 15 books, that are not included in your 66 book canon Bible, the standard canon in most churches today. Here are the books, 1st Ezra, 2nd Ezra, Tobit, Judith, Esther, Wisdom of Solomon, Ecclesiasticus, also known and called the Sirach, Baruch, Epistle of Jeremiah, Prayer of Azariah, Susanna, Bell and the Dragon, Prayer of Manasseh, 1st Maccabees, and 2nd Maccabees. All right. Ecclesiasticus, and I want to read the King James Version of the Apocrypha. And I want to begin with the first chapter. And let's start at verse 4. I'm going to read verses 4 through 7, 9 through 10, 15 through 17, verse 19 and 26 of this first chapter of the book of Ecclesiasticus. All right, verse 4 says, Wisdom, the Holy Spirit, had been created before all things. Just as I mentioned in my last video, just as it says in Proverbs chapter 8, wisdom, the Holy Spirit, had been created before all things were created, and the understanding of prudence from everlasting. Verse 5, the Word of God, who is none other than His Son, Jesus Christ, the Word of the Most High, is the fountain, the source of wisdom. And her ways are everlasting commandments. Verse 6. To whom has the root of wisdom been revealed? Or who has known her wise counsels? Verse 7. Unto whom has the knowledge of wisdom been made manifest? And who has understood her great experience? Notice in these three verses, verse 5, 6, and 7, it refers to the Holy Spirit as a her. Just as we read in the book of Proverbs. Scrolling down to verses 9 and 10. Verse 9 says, He, the Most High, the Heavenly Father, created her. Who is her? Wisdom, the Holy Spirit. He created her, saw her, numbered her, and poured her out upon all his works. Four times the Spirit is referred to as a her in this verse. Verse 10, she, the Holy Ruach, is with all flesh according to the Father's gift, and the Most High has given her, the Holy Spirit, to those that love Him. Amen. Alright, skipping down to verses 15 through 17. Verse 15, it says, she, the Holy Spirit, has built an everlasting foundation with men. Now when you see the word men, it's also referring to woman. Mankind in general. So she has built an everlasting foundation with mankind. And she shall continue with our seed. Verse 16. To fear the Lord is fullness of wisdom. And fills mankind with her fruits. The fruits of the Holy Spirit. Verse 17. She fills all our houses with things desirable and the garners with her increase. Now notice in these three verses, verse 15, 16, and 17, it refers to the Holy Spirit as a she and a her over and over, just as you read in the book of Proverbs. Okay, now let's take a look at verse 19. It says, Wisdom, 
rains down skill and knowledge of understanding and exalts those to honor that hold her fast. So with her is skill, knowledge, and understanding. Amen. All right, one more verse in this first chapter of the book of Ecclesiasticus. Verse 26, it says, If you desire wisdom, keep the commandments, and the Lord shall give her unto you. Amen. So if you want wisdom, because she is according to her name. If you desire her, obey the Father and the Son, and they will give her unto you. She is our help, our comforter. Amen. All right. Now let's take a look at chap chapter 4. Chapter 4 of the book of Ecclesiasticus. It has more information concerning the Mother Spirit. I want to take a look at chapter 4, verses 11 through 19, verse 23 and 24. Alright, this is chapter 4, scrolling down to verse 11. And this is what it says. Wisdom... The Holy Spirit exalts her children and lays hold of those that seek her. Verse 12. He, or rather those that love her, the Holy Spirit, love life. And those that seek her early shall be filled with joy. Verse 13. Those that hold her fast shall inherit glory. And wheresoever she enters, the Lord will bless. Amen. Verse 14. They that serve her shall minister to the Holy One. And those that love her, the Lord does love. Verse 15. Whoever gives ear unto her shall judge the nations. And those that attend Unto her shall dwell securely. Verse 16. If a man or a woman commits themselves unto her, they shall inherit her, and their generations shall hold her in possession. Verse 17. For at first the Holy Spirit will walk with us by crooked ways and bring fear and dread upon us and torment us with her discipline until she may trust our souls and try us by her laws. Amen. Verse 18. Then will she, the Holy Spirit, return the straight way unto us and comfort us and show us her secrets, which are many secrets. Verse 19. But if he or she goes wrong, she, the Holy Spirit, will forsake them. And give them over to their own ruin. So the Holy Spirit walks with us through our trials and tribulations, which we must overcome and come out of our dark ways. She will bear with us and discipline us through our youth and try us to see if she could trust our souls by her laws, as it says here in verse 17. Then she will help us, straighten our paths for us, comfort us, and show us secrets, her secrets. But if we go back to the path we just got out of, she will forsake us and hand us over to our own ruin, our sins. So it's very important. We must overcome progress. Progress. All right, now I want to take a look at verse 23 of this same chapter, chapter 4 of the book of Ecclesiasticus, also known as a Sirach. 
Verse 24 says, For by speech, wisdom, the Holy Spirit shall be known, and learning by the word of the tongue. Now, I'm going to go back one verse. Verse 23 says, Refrain not to speak when there is occasion to do so, and hide not your wisdom in her beauty. Why? Because, as I just read in verse 24, By speech she shall be known, and learning by the word of the tongue. Amen. Now, I'm going to take a look at the book of wisdom, Wisdom of Solomon, King James Version of the Apocrypha. Wisdom of Solomon, another book in the Apocrypha. And let's take a look at verse... verse let's begin at verse 12. I'm going to read verses 12 to 23 of chapter 6 of this book of Wisdom of Solomon. Okay, this is chapter 4, chapter 5, one more. All right, chapter 6, chapter 6 of the Wisdom of Solomon, and I'm going to read verses 12 through 23. All right, here it is. Wisdom, the Holy Spirit is glorious and never fades away. Yeah, she is easily seen of them that love her and found of such as seek her verse 13 she prevents them that desire her and making herself first known unto them verse 14 whoso seeks her early shall have no great travail for he or she shall find her the holy spirit sitting at their doors Verse 15, to think therefore upon her, the Holy Spirit, is perfection of wisdom of herself. And whoso watch for her shall quickly be without care. Amen. Verse 16, for she, the Holy Spirit, goes about seeking such as are worthy of her, showing herself favorably unto those in the ways, and meets them in every thought so she is in our thoughts well those that are blessed to have her verse 17 for the very true beginning of her is the desire of discipline and the care of discipline is love verse 18 and love is the keeping of her laws, and the giving heed unto her laws is the assurance of incorruption. Verse 19, and incorruption makes us near unto God. Verse 20, therefore the desire of wisdom bring it to a kingdom. Verse 21, if your delight be then in thrones and scepters, O ye kings of people, honor wisdom that you may reign forevermore. Verse 22, as for wisdom, what she is and how she came up, I will tell you and will not hide mysteries from you, but will seek her out from the beginning of her nativity and bring the knowledge of her into light and will not pass over the truth. Verse 23, one more verse. Neither will I go with consuming envy, for such a man shall have no fellowship with her wisdom. Remember, the truth and revelations are only half years because you're supposed to be sharing them. All right, so... That's it for chapter 6 of the book of Wisdom of Solomon. Now, I want to take a look at chapter 9. i got a few more verses that I want to go over. 
in this book, Wisdom of Solomon from the Apocrypha. As you can see, okay, this is chapter 9. All right, I'm going to begin with verse 4. It says, Give me wisdom that sits by thy throne, and reject me not from among thy children. Let's read that one more time. Give me wisdom. Who is wisdom? Give me the Holy Spirit that sits by your throne. This is talking to the Heavenly Father or the Son. Not sure. But whoever this is, I'm assuming it's Solomon. It's, he's saying, give me wisdom. Give me the Holy Spirit that sits by your throne. Father, Son, Holy Spirit sits by the throne of the Heavenly Father. It says, Reject me not from among your children. All right, now scrolling down to verses 10 and 11, it says, Verse 10 says, Oh, send her out of thy holy heavens. This is Solomon talking to the Heavenly Father, or the Son, not sure. Oh, send her out of the holy heavens, and from the throne of your glory, that being present, she may labor with me, that I may know what is pleasing unto thee. So, he's asking the Heavenly Father to send her, the Holy Spirit, out of his holy heaven, and from his throne the glory of his throne, that she, the Spirit, may labor with them. Verse 11, For she, the Holy Spirit, knows and understands all things, and she shall lead me soberly in my doings and preserve me in her power. Amen. Okay, one more verse, verse 17. Now, for those doubting who is wisdom, this should make it abundantly clear. All right. This is Wisdom of Solomon from the Apocrypha, chapter 9 and verse 17. It says, And your counsel, who has known, except you give wisdom and send thy Holy Spirit from above. There it is. Wisdom is the Father's Holy Spirit from above. That's who wisdom is, the Holy Spirit, the female divinity. The same way the Heavenly Father pulled Eve from Adam, the same way He pulled the Holy Spirit from Himself. The Holy Spirit is female. She is, like I said in the first video, the emotional, compassionate, loving, and caring side of the Heavenly Father. That's who wisdom is, the Holy Spirit, as it says here, for all the naysayers. Now, like I said, I want to go over that uh, book of John, chapter 14 and verse 26, for all those that like to point to that word, he. And try to say that the Holy Spirit is a he or a it. That's a very misleading word. All right, so that's it for this video. And in the next one, I will explore the reference to the Holy Spirit being a he in the canon Bible. So until then, shalom, blessings, hope all is well. Peace.